today I'm gonna jump in White Bear Lake to support <laughs> Special Olympics. This is my fifth year, this is her first year. My first year, I am a rookie. <laughs> the first year I did it, my boss did it for her sister who does the Special Olympics. So I've just been doing it every year since. Awesome. I also saw just as a moment to be a true Minnesotan and huh. jump into a frozen lake. Right. <laughs> you gotta prove who you're wearing. And from. that too, yep, yep, <laughs> exactly. Today is the first of 14 polar plunges. White Bear Lake's the first one, we have them all over the state. Uh, so as you know, we have one coming up in St. Cloud here in a couple of weeks that we're really excited about. Um, but this is all a partnership with law enforcement agencies around the state. And in fact, Special Olympics is partnered with all law enforcement agencies around the world. So Minnesota, our partnership is one of the largest actually in the world where Special Olympics Minnesota partners with the law enforcement agencies around the state here to do awareness, fundraising, and some crazy stuff like you see out here. All right, so. You guys have the first person from Madagascar ever to jump in a frozen lake. That's right. All right? So, first ever. With these weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the sign they made for me. It this means, sign? be careful, Tahiri. I suppose that's my name. It's really cold. Uh, and was it? Uh, yes, it was. Yes, it was our first it time. It was our first time, and our, we'll do it again. Yeah, our team sure. is Jungle Fever. So we were all animals. We are. I was the flamingo. I was the zebra. <laughs> Our team raised three thousand dollars. Together, we made a difference and contributed to the Special Olympics in Minnesota. We think that, that universities are a great format for this to get people aware of Special Olympics, get them involved, uh, and eventually, you know, be volunteers or whatever. And a great first way is to do something like this and plunge and help support it. So Duluth has been doing it for a couple years. St. Cloud has jumped on board, and we really are excited about that platform. And St. Cloud will be one of the leaders, I think, as we grow this university challenge, and you see a couple other schools follow you guys' lead. So we're very happy to have you guys on board and really excited about the enthusiasm and the growth that we're going to see at St. Cloud. I pretty much think the Huskies will dominate, as they always do. <laughs> Uh, you know, we just decided to get it out of bed and plunge. <laughs> what do you want to do today? Plunge! <laughs> you know, if you come out, this is, this is great for supporting the programs. Actually, the real uh, things that you're helping support if you come out to a state competition. The running races. I saw gymnastics. Actually, at St. Cloud, we're having the regional basketball tournament here coming up in, I think, in March and there you'll see several hundred of our athletes playing basketball. It's going to be on campus, so if you have a chance to come out, volunteer, just watch. You'll see what you're helping support by doing that plunge, and it's a great event. Do it! Do it, it's worth it. Once you do it once, you're going to want to do it again. You can't even feel the cold. Uh, yeah, it was, it was invigorating. Exhilarating is a good word. Adrenaline. Yeah. And it goes way too fast. And let's do and it again! Let's do it again! I am so <laughs> pumped to jump in this lake. Here we go, this is a quick trip over the great 